my name is Dr. Uh, Scott Melidio. Today we'll be going uh, through part one of a three-part series of organic chemistry structures. In this video, we will go over the following organic chemistry functional groups using 3D model sets. The functional groups that will be covered are alkane, alkene, alkyne, aromatic, alkyl halide, alcohol, ether, amine, thiol, and thiol ether. Before getting started, I'm going to show you what each element looks like. This is carbon. This is hydrogen. This is chlorine. This is nitrogen. This is oxygen. This is sulfur. And then these little guys here are uh, used to make the bonds. All right, so next we will go over each of those functional groups. So the first one is alkane. The one thing to note is this, even though we're calling it a functional group, it really isn't because it can't do any chemistry. This is our alkene. It's a double bond between two carbons. This is alkyne. It is a triple bond between two carbons. This is our alkyl halide. So here I'm showing a chlorine bonded to a carbon, but you could also have other halogens bonded as well. This is our aromatic ring. The thing to note with aromatic rings is, is that you have alternating double bonds. Next is our alcohol. So you have an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen, and then it's bonded to our carbon. This is ether. So it's an oxygen bonded to a carbon on either side of it. This is our amine. You have a nitrogen bonded to a carbon. And what's not being shown here with the amine is the lone pair of electrons but it's the uh, nitrogen is making three bonds. This is, uh, so now we get into some uh, sulfur functional groups. This is a thiol. So for our thiol, we have a sulfur bonded to a carbon and then also bonded to a hydrogen. And then our last structure is our thio ether. So as you can guess by the name, uh, hopefully, it is a sulfur bonded to a carbon on either side of it. So this concludes part one of our three parts. So thank you for watching and enjoy.